guys, I thought I'd share with you uh, what I do to feed frozen vegetables to my birds. I had somebody ask me in the uh, Christmas video when I brought the bulls out what I was feeding and if I was using frozen vegetables. Yes, I just find this makes it easier and since I have not had any luck with growing my own fresh vegetables, um, you can just keep these in the freezer and get a good quality human vegetable mix like this. So what I do is I measure out, it doesn't have to be exact, depends how many birds you have or how much your bird will eat. This is a half cup, I'm going to do one cup into a big bowl. So there's the vegetables, and then I turn on the hot water on the sink, on the hottest, which for me is, uh, I'm able to touch it, but that's about as hot as it gets. So again, this will also depend on the temperature of your kitchen sink. And I just fill it all the way to the top. And this water is going to get cold really fast. Mush them around. And you can feel that the vegetables are definitely still cold. Okay, that one's done. Now what I do is I get a strainer. And I just dump them in. Dump them right in. And then... Dump them right back into the bowl. And I once again put them in hot water. And this time, you want to get them to room temperature. That's feeling much, much better. Now the water's not hot, it's warm. And then, once it's ready, once again, dump it through. Dump your water out, and then, so it's not drip drying everywhere. I put it right into the bowl like that, and now I can feed this up and add uh, supplements. Apartment members, it's a little cold still. I could have run it one more time, but by the time you put it into the uh, open air like this, when they're separated from each other, it'll warm up to room temperature. And I just put out as much as I think the birds will eat, or I know as much as they'll eat. Now that filled out nicely for the five birds that I have. Now, I know that for a fact, Wingo is the only bird I have ever owned, let's put his bowl here, that actually eats carrots. Nobody else eats the carrots, so we'll go heavy on carrots with him. He's a little low on corn and peas, so we'll take it from this one. Now for my pigeons, they don't have uh, tearing and ripping beaks like uh, my parrots do, so they can't swallow these things, they're too big, or I cut them in half. Same with these big beans. Today everybody is getting feather fast because there are a lot of birds that are molting and we're working with trying to fix Wingo's feather. So if you have any vitamin powder supplements, veggies are the best food. You can put it on because uh, powders will stick to the wet vegetables. You can also do calcium. I also get the frozen broccoli because broccoli is pretty high in calcium. You can use calcium powder and then uh, mix it up. Get the powder on most of the veggies, and then I feed it out to my birds. So everybody's eating. That's pretty much how I prepare uh, veggies for everyone.